Hi again, everyone. This is Arnie Jackson with Race Recap, a WPCA podcast feature from the Grand Prairie Stompede. It was Championship Sunday, and the top finalists for the $50,000 winner take all heat number nine featured Mike Vegan of Grand Prairie, Rick Fraser from Wetaskiwin, Kelly Sutherland from Grand Prairie, and Evan Salmon of Hudson Bay, Saskatchewan. We'll get to heat number nine on this podcast in just a few moments. But Les McIntyre joins us as the track announcer as we review each and every one of the nine races from Championship Sunday. We'll start with heat number one featuring Ray Crotto Jr. out of Sundry at barrel number one. Reg Johnstone from Bash Isle, but lines up at barrel two. Huey Sinkler from Grand Prairie at barrel number three. And Jerry Bremner out of Westeros at barrel number four. Here's your track announcer, Les McIntyre with heat number one. There's a horn, and the charge is underway. A good start for three out of four. Johnstone with trouble on that two barrel. Here comes Ray Crotto. Tomko off that number one barrel. Steals the rail quite handily away from Hugh Sinclair and Diamond International as they get out of town at a high rate of equine acceleration. Jerry Bremner in behind Entrek Corporation down along that rail position. Now track conditions are fast and good as they fly into that second turn. Reg Johnstone, H&M meets trouble in the infield. Allen in the track, but he's back to the leader by a furlong and a half. It is Ray Crotto, now from Sundry, formerly of Bonneville. Tom Cole Group of Companies guides him into that third corner. He's got a two-wagon length lead over his nearest race man, and that is going to be Jerry Bremner, who has slid along that rail out of third, overtaking second place runner Hugh Sinclair in Diamond International. Reg Johnstone, H&M meets too far back. He's not going to catch anybody tonight, but here comes that rainbow wagon. Uh, no rainbows tonight, but it's Ray Crotto and the Tom Cole Group of Companies. The louder you cheer, the quicker you'll get here. Ray Crotto cranks him down the lane for home with Jerry Bremner in hot pursuit. Not going to catch Crotto tonight, but he's going to be close. Ray Crotto by a neck at the wire. Jerry Bremner in Intrek. Diamond International, Hugh Sinclair. And flying in, H&M meets a disappointed Reg Johnstone a former Grand Prairie champ. Not a penalty-free race. A couple of penalties in that one. However, Ray Crotto Jr. off the number one set of barrels does make the track a 118 and 28 second run. Jerry Bremner of Westeros right behind at 118.44. Those were penalty-free. Then Huey Sinkler of Grand Prairie with a five-second barrel penalty as a 120 and 45. That goes to a 125 and 45. And Reg Johnstone, all kinds of problems for a 134 and 21. Now to heat number two featuring Cody McCurr of Eckville and then Bob Van Eaton from Clive Alberta lining up at barrel number two. The defending champion Jason Glass of High River lines up at barrel number three and John Walters of Delburn at barrel number four. Here again, Les McIntyre. There's a horn, and the charge is underway, and a quick start now for John Walters. Oh, going to try that double circle again with that gray lead team. Didn't work for him. Jason Glass gets out from the outside with Bob Van Eaton, a northern truck tucked inside of him. Cody McCurra is the man on that rail running third with ATB Financial. Now John Walters gets that pair of unruly grays southbound and down, and the two bays are chasing their butts out of town. They're going to have to pick it up a notch up on the front end. It's checkerboard action as we come out of that second turn the reigning grand prairie champion jason glass opens them up a notch says adios bob van eaton northern truck running second and tucked in behind him by another length and two is cody mccurra atb financial a furlong and a half near two furlongs back the leader now goes the young man john walters and drifters casing jason glass has already got it all together the checkerboards have made their move, and he's headed for that fourth and final turn. Jason Glass, Birchcliff Energy. Yeah, Grand Prairie, give it to him. Here comes the reigning champ for the next few moments at least. Jason Glass, they're not going to catch him tonight. Not going to catch him tonight as Jason Glass opens up the field by two. Looks like Chad Harden was driving for Bob Van Eaton tonight. He'll be second. Cody McCurra, ATB Financial, third over the wire, and a disappointed John Walters. Drifters Casing Service rolls in back of the pack in heat 
number two. And your best running time, Jason Class of High River, the defending champ, did it in a 117 and 89. It was Cody McCurr out of Eckville making the five eighths of a mile trip in a 119 and 67. Then with a penalty, Bob Van Eaton was a 119 54, but five seconds for a 124 and 54. And John Walters of Talbert a long ways off the pace at a 126 and 71. Now here comes heat number three with Les Mack. McIntyre featuring Cody Ridsdale of Paddle Prairie, Alberta, barrel number one. Darcy Flad from Bodo, Alberta at barrel number two. Chance Vegan of Grand Prairie's all lined up at barrel number three. And Mitch Sutherland also from Grand Prairie in place at barrel number four. Here is heat number three. There's a horn and a good start this time. Right across the board, Mitch Sutherland quick on that four barrel. Chance Vegan right alongside of him gets out of town in a hurry. Chance Vegan scoots to the early front end with Mitch Sutherland to the outside of him. Chance is looking back. He's taking a chance going to that rail with all the room you need and speed you need to get that done. Chance Vegan and his buddy Mitch Sutherland now going around that second turn. Sutherland back by three quarters of a length. Trailing the pack is Cody Ridgedale, Triple K. He's got that rail in third spot all wrapped up into the extreme outside. Darcy Flad, Global Training, is back running fourth and closing ground with every stride as they glide down that backstretch. Chance Vegan, Troyer Ventures. He can hear the chuck wagon tsunami coming in behind him with Cody Ridgedale on the rail. Cody and Triple K along that rail inside of Mitch Sutherland and Pipestone Carriers and now Darcy Flad and Global Training to the outside and that's how they glide into that fourth and final turn. Uh, Chance Vegan, Troyer Ventures, an oil field service company. Chance Vegan, a chuck wagon driver, three generations deep. He has pointed at him to wire. They're not going to catch Vegan tonight. He's in town for a lot of cash, and he got it done by three quarters. Cody Ridgedale, and then Darcy Flad, and trailing in is Mitch Sutherland in heat number three.